the money. Are you going to loan me the money? No. Well, that's great. That's just great. You're a regular what's his name, aren't you? Shit, I'm fucked. I've never had a thousand dollars in my life. How'd you like to? What? How'd you like to have fifteen thousand dollars? Oh, Jesus, another one of your stupid... No, 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 hear me out now. I got a plan. Every goddamn time. You remember that farm? Baby, leave the farm out of this, all right? It's something a lot easier than that. This ought to be good. Yeah, well, you ever heard of Killer Joe Cooper? Uh -uh. Well, he's a cop. Yeah, so? Well, he's a detective, actually. Yeah, so? Well, somebody's got this little job on the side. So what's he do? He's a killer. He kills people. So? Well, so Mom's got a $50,000 life insurance policy. What are you saying? No, oh, you know what I'm saying. Don't look at me like that. Who's the sentiment here? The beneficiary has died. The whole thing? The whole thing. All 50,000? Yep. She didn't leave nothing to me? <laughs> of course not, you dipshit. Now why would she do that? I'm a right husband. She fucking hates you, Dad. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? About what? About my idea. How much does a thing like that cost? Well, I hear he charges twenty thousand. Jesus Christ! Hey, this isn't something we can afford to cut corners on. All right, I say it's worth it if we know we're not going to get caught. Killer Joe's professional will do this right. How do you know? Who told you about this? Never mind that. Where are we supposed to get that kind of money? All right, all right. I want to hire him on spec. You know, get him to do the job for free and give him a cut of the insurance money. Look, after you pay this guy, you're only talking about clearing boy. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Split that four ways. Uh, three ways. How do you figure? Well, you, me, and Doc. What about Charlotte? What about Charlotte? She gets a cut. The hell, she does. She ain't family. You've been my wife longer than Adele has. It's less money. It's less money for you, and it's more money for you. Yeah, well, I'm the father here, you know. We're talking about my ex-wife. I'm the one who found her, not you, not Doc. All right, all right. Split four ways. <laughs> Hold on a minute now. I didn't read enough. The murder we're talking about. I'm gonna sit here nodding my head. You don't look at it this way. Is she doing anybody any good? What do you mean? I mean, is anybody gonna care that mom's not around anymore? Rex! Rex. You think that dumb son of a bitch would care? He screws anything that'll draw breath. I don't mean he don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I think he would take a pink. I mean, you should see the way she treats that miserable bastard. Not like she treated me, I bet. Well, he gives a fuck about Rex. Right? Who else? Dottie, maybe? Right, Dottie. Now, let's think about what's best for Dottie. Having ten thousand dollars so she can go to that Amazon school, or having a nanny alcoholic beat up mother for another twenty years or so. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So as long as no one knows what we're talking about, we're actually doing Dottie a favor, right? Then we just call the guy. Set up a meeting. We ain't got to decide anything right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Now listen, this is just between me and you now. I know. Yeah, because if Dottie or Charlotte find out, right. Yeah, they'll be considered accomplices. Right. Oh, hi, Chris. What are you doing here? Oh, I got to go fight with Mom. You build the city all by yourself? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I sure did, honey. Brick by brick. I heard that at the wedding. She's asleep. I'm not asleep. I'm working. <laughs> I damn, that scared the shit out of me. That sleep talking shit gives me the creeps. <laughs> she's gotten worse and worse about it. About every night now. Don't suppose she's seen anyone yet? No, and I wouldn't hold your breath neither. I don't understand that. You want to know the truth? I think she's still a... What, a virgin? Yeah, hey, I heard y'all talking about killing Mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so she got that piece of shit into run me yeah, huh?
looks hard. Jesus! Why are you so sorry? Who are you? Joe Cooper, I'm a friend of a... Joe Cooper? Excuse me. Joe Cooper, I'm a friend of Chris's. How'd you get in here? The door. Well, I knocked, but you had the TV turned up too loud to hear me. Well, I decided not to stand in the rain. Well, you scared me to death. And I apologize. Well, that's okay. It's okay. Well, it looks hard from the TV like that. You should get a teacher. Yeah? I'm Joe Cooper. Hi. I was supposed to meet Chris here at 1030. Well, he's not here. Well, I'm a little early. He's usually late. Can I talk to you for a cup of coffee or? Oh, yeah, sure. Why don't you sit down and, oh, I can take your coat. Can I ask your name? I'm Dottie. Hello, Dottie. Hi. What? Hmm? Why are you, what? Oh, nothing. I'm just standing. Okay. What are you? I mean, what do you do? I'm a detective. Really? Like Mannix? Uh, no. Now, he's a private detective. I'm in the Dallas Police Department. Oh, he's not real either. No, I'm real. I read it's nothing like it is on the TV shows. You know, with the car chases and all. A lot of paperwork. I read some policemen got a whole lot without ever even shooting their guns. Well, that's probably true. Have you ever thrown your gun? Oh, sure. What happened? Well, I brought my gun lots of times. You ever shoot anybody? Yes. Who? Oh, nobody you know. <laughs> Did they die? They have, yes. Wow. Well, I bet you don't like to talk about it. No. Oh. Not that I like to talk about it. But it doesn't keep me up at night, you know? Yeah. Well, what's the most exciting thing you've ever done? Hmm. Most exciting. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I bet it's more exciting than anything I ever did. Wait, well, I can tell you the funniest thing. Okay. Well, maybe not the funniest, but the, uh, the odds. Okay. When I was patrolling, uh, we got this call. You really want to hear this? Oh, yeah, sure. When I was a patrolman, my partner and I got a call. There was this domestic disturbance in progress. Kind of misleading if you ask me. The domestic sounds awful home. On the disturbance it sounds like just an argument. The cops know that domestic disturbances are the cause where you're most likely to get hurt. Right. So we took the call. And I was a little nervous. I hadn't been on the force long, and I still got nervous about domestic disturbances. When we get to the house, we hear this awful screaming from inside, this shrieking. Oh, my God. We went into the place, and it was completely dark. We just followed the sounds of that scream back to the back bedroom. Well, I didn't know what the hell to expect. Why? And we opened the door, and suddenly this huge guy is on top of me. He just knocks me to the floor, screaming and clawing at me. Oh, my God. And it turns out there's no one else even there. And he wasn't trying to hurt me. He wanted me to help him. Well, why? He was in terrible pain. Turns out he got into a fight with his girlfriend. She'd been having an affair. So in order to teach her a lesson, that's what he said, teach her a lesson. He had doused his genitals in live fluid and set them on fire. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, I thought you were serious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> old miserable bastard set his genitals on fire to teach his girlfriend a lesson. Can you believe that? I guess he showed her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if she ever got over it. <laughs> genitalia on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I had an aunt once who set herself on fire. 
herself on fire. Yeah? Okay. Well, not on purpose. Well, she was wearing this long lace dress. She got it caught in the furnace, and she died before they could put out that fire. Really? Well, they say she's the one in the family I look the most like. Her name was Viva. Isn't that a great name? She never did get married, I don't think. You gonna kill my mama? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why? I was just curious. Well, my mama tried to kill me when I was real little. She put a pillow over my face and she tried to stop me from breathing. Because she cared more about herself than her little baby. Well, she didn't love me like a mama's supposed to love a little baby. She thought she'd done it, too. Well, she was happy because then she didn't have to worry about me eating her food or sleeping in her bed. Growing up to be that part of her that was cut out and grown into a better thing than she had been. Could ever be. Well, because that would mean the best part of her was me. She didn't do it. She didn't give me back to him. She just made me sick. Made me not be for a little while. But then I was. She was sad that I was and that I always would be. How do you know that? You know what? You charged him how much? Fifty bucks. That your mother tried to kill you. Because I remember. Poor old Alvin Sparkplug. Hell, he didn't know the difference. Dumbass Yankee about to suck my dick right on the right side of the ring. <laughs> Hello. Oh. You must be Joe. Hey, how you doing? I'm Chris Smith. That right there is my father, Ansel. Ansel? Hey. I see you met Dottie. Oh, yeah. Dottie, would you excuse us? Yeah, sure. No, sweetie, I mean, can leave the house. We've got some business to discuss with Mr. Oh, I know. Hey, service I'm going to perform, right? You'll give me particulars about her whereabouts, her schedule, her habits, and I'll act on them accordingly. Okay. Now, I won't give you many details about my activities because the less you know about them, the better for everyone concerned. Sure. I only have a couple of rules that I insist on sticking to. Insist. Well, all right. If you were caught, if you were implicated in this crime, you were not, under any circumstances, to reveal my identity or my participation. Oh, yes, yeah, sure, of course. If you break this rule, you'll be killed. You understand? I, no, I don't mean to sound melodramatic, and, and I don't want our business relationship to get off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be absolutely clear on this point. All right, well, yeah, I understand. You understand? Yeah. My payment is $25,000 in cash, in advance, no exceptions. 25? Yes, sir. You told me 20. Well, I was told 20. 25. Is that a problem? We don't have a problem with 25. Now, hold on a second. We don't have a problem with 25. That's not our problem. What is your problem? Well, our problem's with the advance. Sir, let me explain this real quick. Like, now, the reason why we want to have this done is because my mother holds a very large insurance policy. They usually do. Right, right. That would interest you in the job if we can guarantee you payment once that policy had been covered. Look, this really isn't open to discussion. Our conversation's finished. Look, but wait, this is important. What did you think this was? Let's make a deal. serious business you're fucking with here, boy. I'm aware of that. I don't think you are. And I don't take you seriously. Yeah, well, this is going to get done one way or another. Well, our conversation's finished. I never met you. You never met me. Thank God for the coffee. 
portion. We never did discuss the possibility of a retainer. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know how to reach me. You call me if she's interested. Oh, oh hey, wait, wait, hey, are you talking about my sister? How is that who she is? <laughs> Jesus. What's he mean, retainer? Well, what do you think he means, Daddy? He means dying. Yeah, but retain what exactly? Just how stupid are you? Are you really that stupid? <laughs> you watch your goddamn mouth. <laughs> well, what are we going to do now, Daddy? Think of something? We can do it ourselves. You're going to kill someone. And you can't even tell time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we should do, smart ass? Well, I don't know. I mean, we can forget about the whole thing. Or hell, we can just give him Dottie. God damn it! You know it might just do her some good. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? That was full of the secret. 
Well, how did you know you were going together if you never saw each other alone? Oh, we just knew. Okay, now wait. Now, if we talked about it, it wouldn't have been what it was. Which was true. What was true? Love. Oh, we loved each other. Well, how did you know he loved you if you never talked about it? Because he loved you with a pure love. Well, there's not many around like that, I guess. <laughs> Shut up. Just so you know. Don't 
doing something. Does she know it's just going to be the two of them? She does now. Great. God damn it, you know, it's too bad he didn't meet Charlotte first, right? Because they'd be dating her instead of Dottie, and I wouldn't have minded. That's my wife you're talking about. Oh, yeah, right. Look, Chris, we better get going. Joe told us to be gone half an hour ago. Oh, man, fuck Joe. Yeah, well, he's running this show, ain't he? I'll leave when I feel like it. Chris, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Dottie! I'm not ready! Well, answer the door for Christ's sake. What are you doing here? So we're on our way out. We discussed this. We're leaving, don't push it. Hey, that's right, Junior, don't push it. When we make arrangements, I expect the details to have some attention paid to them. Let's go, Dad. Do you understand me? Yeah. Good boy. Where is she? She's changing. Dottie, it's me, Joe Cooper. We're alone now. You don't have to come out if you don't want to. You stay in there as long as you like. Well, your casserole smells nice. So I think you got a good scald on it. Oh, I have a funny story about blind dates or casseroles. So maybe one will come to me later. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, Hank Williams from Oklahoma. I don't have a funny story about Hank Williams either. Or Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma's kind of funny anyway, right? I grew up looking at Oklahoma from the south bank of the Red River. That's where I grew up. You see, when I was a boy, the border between Texas and Oklahoma was actually the middle of the river. If you were fishing on the north bank, uh, you were catching oaky fish. But I caught Texas fish. They probably tasted the same. <laughs> Sometime since then, we gave our half of the river away. Now the whole damn thing belongs to Oklahoma. South Bank. That's the border. I'm not sure why we did that. It kind of makes me mad. It's like giving away your, your front porch. Well, good evening. You said it was scalded. Well, no, I said you got a good scald on. It's just an expression. What? Well, how are you? Fine. Well, would you like to know how I am? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I changed. Oh? Well, I didn't know just you and me were going to have dinner. Somebody should have told you. Well, they did. Just now. What did you change from? A dress. I'd love to see it. Are you hungry? Vanish. Yes, hungry. Are you ready to eat? Whenever you are. Your eyes hurt. I beg your pardon. What? May I have a beer? <laughs> yeah, sure. I get it. <laughs> okay. I'll serve dinner. Well, that would be lovely. What'd you say? You said that would be lovely. Can I help you? No, that's okay. How old are you? Twenty. And Chris? Twenty-two. Hmm. Oh, you're wondering about me, Eddie. Daddy was sixteen when Chris was born. Mama was fifteen. So young. It was an accident. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't want to get married. So why did you? Well, I don't know. That's just what they always said. We didn't want to get married. You trust me? Not quite. Good. Well, 
have you ever been married? Maybe. What is that supposed to mean? It means no. Well, how come? Because women are lying and deceitful and manipulative and vicious and vituperative and black-hearted and evil and old. Yeah. <laughs> what are you drinking? Nothing. Can I get you something? No, thank you. Tall glass cold beer, perhaps. No, thank you. Love. I'm a virgin. I'd really like to see that dress. It wasn't right. Well, may I see it anyway? Well, how are you going to kill Mama? Oh, that's not appropriate dinner conversation. <laughs> <laughs> not unless you poison her. <laughs> Why wouldn't you wear that for me? It's not me. Not when you're not in it. Well, I want to have a boyfriend. Put it on. Okay. But where are you going? I'm going to put on my dress. I said put it on. I'm going to go. Here. But put it on, please. Put it on, darling. I want to see you put it on.
Stop. Take off the socks. <laughs> Take off your brassiere. Take off your brassiere. Take off your underpants. Put on the dress. Get down there now. <laughs> I said get down. Job. It's being taken care of. 
Oh yeah, it sure as hell is. Yeah, because you've been here a week now fucking my sister. My mother's a hell of a lot healthier than I am. <laughs> Cut to the chase, Junior. I think I'm having second thoughts. You want me off the job? I don't know. Say the word. Well, when do you plan on doing it? Tomorrow. Really? Yes. How? Well, I won't tell you. Well, then where? I won't tell you. A am I the customer here? Tomorrow. That's all you need to know. Well, all right, so you'll be leaving tomorrow. No. Of course not. Well, why not? Well, the retainer isn't for the job. It's for the money. I'm not leaving until I get my money. No, no, I don't like that. No, I don't care. Yo, well, I don't want you near my sister. I don't care. But if I say the deal's off? I'll leave right now. You'll never see me again. Just say the word. Who are you into for this money? Well, I ain't gonna tell you that. Well, would that be Digger Sones? How the hell did you know that? Digger Sones. What do you say he do to you if you don't pay? And you know that too? Oh, he'll do it. I used to work with this old boy on the force. I can't remember his name. But he and Digger came to cross purposes. Digger warned him. He didn't believe Digger would really do it. But he went to sleep one night. Woke up six feet under. We found him a couple months later like this. Well, why didn't you arrest him? Well, I like Digger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but aren't you supposed to arrest people who commit murder? Now, where would you suggest I start, Junior? <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. What are your plans for tomorrow? I don't know why. I'm going to be around here tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'll be wherever the hell I feel like being. For the safety of the job, make yourself scarce. Do you understand? You'll never get my mother to set foot in this trailer. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but you'll never get my mother to set foot in this trailer. Well, you let me worry about that. Okay. Okay. Now, you get some sleep. <laughs> God damn it! Joe! Oh, man, you better not hurt my sister. <laughs> Well, what's so funny? Oh, I don't know. That just uh, struck me. <laughs> How many? How many what, sweetie? Sweetie. Oh, I'm sorry. It's been a long time. She's asleep. Well, you'd fuck a snake if you could hold a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Dottie. 
my sister. I mean, man, she ain't, man, she ain't never done nothing to nobody. And, and I, I, can't, I can't be responsible. And you can't have her. I won't let you have her. Joe, man, look, you got to give her up because otherwise I can't look her in the eyes. Are you listening to me, Joe? Look, I don't want you to ever see my sister again. I don't think you're a good influence. I mean, you kill people, Joe, for Christ's sake. You know, I mean, no offense. I mean, I think like me or mom or dad have been particularly good influences, but shit, the ice seem to turn out all right. Seems like the best thing I can do for her is keep away from people who won't do her no good. I think the best thing you and me can just do is just shake hands and forget we ever met. Is that okay? I mean, can we walk away from this thing before it goes too far? Joe, we ain't no better off, man. Hell, we ain't no worse off neither. Hell, I'm no better off. Listen, I owe bigger sum of $6,000. I'll never have that kind of money, not ever. But Joe, even if I did, I mean, wouldn't it suck having to hand it back over to those guys? Hell, I'd want to keep it, right? I'd want to make something with it. outside a lot, make my own hours, smoke dope, watch TV. And hell, that's all I ever really wanted. <laughs> so I started a rabbit farm. And man, I built that whole thing too by myself. I was living with a couple of fellas out there Skeet, but hell, they didn't help me. I built it, my own two hands. Lumber, chicken wire, water bottles, pellets. <laughs> Rabbits. <laughs> Man, I love those little bastards. <laughs> I mean, they smell like shit and they fuck all the time, but you know, they're awful easy going animals. I left a couple of weeks because this girl down at Corpus. And man, when I got back from rabbit or skunk or shit, I don't know something that got the can and had rabies. It was all hot outside too, man. They just tore each other apart. Eyes rolling, foam in the mouth. Scream. Do you know rats that scream? Man, they sound just like little girls. It's disturbing. <laughs> they also went back to selling dope for a living. Hell, I knew more about that, right? All right, look, I can't pay these people and shit. I don't even really want to, all right? So you just gonna have to get out of this thing, Joe. You just gonna have to get out of this thing and leave me and my sister alone forever, because otherwise you and me, we're gonna have some trouble. Do you understand, Joe? Do you understand? Uh-huh. 
All right, I just want you to know that I never meant to hurt you, all right? I never meant to do that. I know. Arrange was just kind of broke funny. You know, had I known how this whole thing was going to turn out, I might have done things different. No. Well, maybe not, but I might have. <laughs> anyway, it's about over soon. You know, he'll be gone. He will? Yeah, after the money comes through, we pay that son of a bitch. Well, that's where they are now. Who, Dad and Charlotte? Yeah, they would kill Patrick. Well, he won't pay them today, will he? No, they're just going over the policy. So Joe's not leaving just yet, right? No, but soon. I mean, you'll never have to see him again. See him? Hey, look, we're going to be better off after this, honey, all right? I mean, I'm going to get married. I'm going to get a job. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get out of this trouble I'm in. I'm going to pay for the things I've done wrong. I mean, you don't do those kind of things. I mean, they come back to you always. Uh-huh. And Dad will be able to... Oh, shit, I don't know you know Dad. Yeah. Hmm. But, Dottie, you finally get to go to that London school. You remember how you always wanted to do that? Like those girls and that thing? Like Christy Brinkley. Maybe you don't like me too much right now. Maybe you don't think I did right by you. You know, like I did the best I could. No one can ever accuse me of not having people's best interests in mind, all right? I mean, people do the best they can. Anyone who says it does is lying. I did the best I could. I didn't want to hurt anybody, not a... Will there be a trial? What? Will there be a trial? Oh, hell, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, Joe knows what he's doing. I've never been to a trial. You see that shot in the paper? Her car? Uh-huh. Yeah, he knows what he's doing all right. Now, they couldn't even do a real autopsy because it wasn't much left to speak of. Hey, how'd it go? What? You little son of a bitch! What? I'm not talking in front of Dottie! Oh, hell, Ansel, she knows what's going on! I'm not talking in front of her! What happened with Kilpatrick? Does Charlotte take Dottie for a trial? You take her! I'm not talking in front of her! They're not going to pay you the money, are they? Whoa, Dad. Tell him, Ansel! Tell me. Tell the idiot! Just tell me. Who told you about Adele's policy? Well, Rex told me in conversation. Rex. Would you tell me what happened? When did he tell me? In conversation. Not how, when? I don't know. I, 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 a couple of weeks ago, me and Mama got into a big fight. Jesus Christ. I told you, Ansel. What? I told you from the start. Shut up, Charlotte. Why don't tell me to shut up? I'm not the one who's blue this whole life. Dad. Come in here. Dad. Tell us how we're all going to see a hundred grand. God damn it, would you tell me? Dottie's not the beneficiary. Rex is the beneficiary. <laughs> well, I, I don't understand. It's not real tough. Well, explain it to me. <laughs> Dottie doesn't get the money. Rex gets the money. But wait, uh, uh, Dottie doesn't get the fifty thousand. Rex gets the fifty thousand. Well, that's not right. That's the way it is. <laughs> but that, that, that can't be. Uh, go talk to Kilpatrick yourself. No, 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 that can't be because I was told. No, 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 because, no, because I was told, because Rex told me, he told me. Rex is mama's boyfriend. Shut up, Dottie, he told me. He was lying. Yeah, well, why would he do that? No, why do you think? No, he, he, he would, he'd never know I'd do something like this. He's the one who put the idea in your head. No, no, I don't, I don't fucking believe this, no. Who told you about Killer Joe? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you, did I tell you? Yeah. Oh my god, piece of fucking fuck suck cake. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it really played you like an accordion fish, didn't it, boy? Oh, oh my god. You make me sick. Oh, I don't, I don't believe this. You better believe it. The sooner you start believing it, the sooner you can figure out how to kill her Joe with money. We gotta get going. Not to mention dig her songs. We gotta get going, y'all. What for? The funeral's in half an hour. Oh, y'all go ahead. I gotta think of something. Oh, I wish you would. <laughs> we we'll seem much better off when you do. <laughs> Where's Joe? Isn't he going to the funeral? No, uh-uh. Well, he's coming back, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> Let's hit it. we got to get your mother in the ground. I'll take Dottie. Dottie? We'll be along. Mrs. Smith, as soon as you're done, you can get the gates of hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do us all a favor and kill yourself? <laughs> Are you 
feel bad. Yeah, yeah, I do. But am I supposed to be on this earth or something? Well, you remember those shows you used to put on with your niece? What? When we were little. And we'd be lying in bed late at night. You'd get a flashlight and you'd put your knees up. Or you'd put a pair of sunglasses on one knee and some sort of hat on the other. Yeah. Well, Grady, show on her. That's what you called it. Okay. And the time and forever from now on, no timeouts or king X's or ventures, everlasting, one more than you can say, and infinity and outer space, they mean. Oh, man, there ain't nothing worse than regrets. Not cancer. Not being eaten alive by a shark, nothing. <laughs> Joe's coming back, didn't he? I'm leaving. What? Will you come with me? His eyes hurt. Dottie, honey, I'm leaving. I want you to come with me. Where? Mexico. Oh, hell no further than that. Peru. Somewhere in South America. Well, how do we get there? We'll drive. We can drive it, Dottie. We may not be living it up, may not at first. Do you like Texas? I hate this goddamn state. You hear everybody talking about what a great place it is to live, but... But it's really too many rednecks walking around in too much goddamn space. <laughs> well, it's warm. <laughs> Donnie, let's just go. Let's just go now. To the funeral. No, Donnie, dude, we're going to do this thing. We've got to gas up. Well, I have to go to the funeral. I have to see Joe. No, 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 no Donnie, if you see no, Joe. I have to see him. Baby, we got to go to Peru now. Well, then you have to go by yourself. Because I have to see Joe. Okay, we're going to go. Okay, sit down. No, 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 no. I'll make a deal with you, okay? We'll go to the funeral and you can see Joe. Good. Listen, Dottie, you can't tell them we're planning on leaving, all right? You can't tell them goodbye. Not that right. Okie dokie. You can't tell Dad and Charlotte neither, all right? Because they're mad at me right now and they might try to screw up our trip. Right. Go to the funeral you can see Joe after. I understand. Are you excited? Hell, do you want to go? I'm always excited. We can do this, guy. We can pull this off. Not if somebody makes me mad. What? Tell 
told me about Rex. Well, what do you mean? We know the man, right? I mean, you've met him. Well, yeah, of course. Tell me about it. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Is he tall? Is he fat? Is he Chinese? Where does he work? How old is he? Do his ears hang low? <laughs> Unlike other men. Tell me about Rex. Well, Rex is... Look, I don't get this, really. Who told you about our arrangement? What arrangement? The contract made between myself and this family. Who told you about it? Ansel. Why? Well, Joe, she's my wife. And you're I wasn't addressing you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he tell you? Because I'm his wife, like he said, and he tells me. Were you supposed to get a cut of this money? Yeah, sure. Why? 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 Well, because I'm his wife, like he said, and he... Did you advise Ansel against the idea? Well, no. Why not? You could have told him Chris would fuck it up. Well, because it wasn't any of my business. Oh, but it is, isn't it? It is your business. Well, look, what is this all about? If you were going to share in this money, it is your business, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you didn't advise against it. No, no, I didn't. Why not? Well, I'm trying to tell you. Why didn't you advise against it? Well, because I wanted some of that money, all right? I mean, if Chris could have pulled this off. Now, were you going to split Angel's third, or were the four of you going to split it up even? Well, we didn't discuss it. Oh, now, I'm sure you did. You're a practical woman, you I don't know. I assume I'd take four. Not one half, one third. No, four. Four ways. Instead of six. A six? No, four ways to even. So then the four of you would split up the remainder of the money. Right. After I'd been paid. Right. Paid my fee of $25,000. Right, after you've been covered. What? I said after you've been covered. Which means equal share. <laughs> you wanted that money. Let's see. What well, those four equal shares come out to? I don't know. I didn't do the math. Well, then do it with me now. The insurance policy gets covered. The agent, Kilpatrick, cuts you a check or cuts Angela a check. Dottie, that would be Dottie. Right. Best of all possible worlds, Dottie. Why are we even going over this if we're not going to get the money? Please. Just wash my feet here, all right? All right. So, Angel gets the check. Dottie. Dottie. So the check is 400 we pay you 25 then that would leave... How much? 25 But how much was the policy for? However much, how much, Angel? 50000 So that much. Minus 25 Right, minus my 25 But you said 100 100 what? You said 100 The check is for 100 Well, however much, minus your 25 that leaves 25 four away. You said a hundred. Well, however much. She's a mistake and it's fifty. Is it? Yeah. It? No. Wait a minute. In case of accidental death, the figures double. Well, I remember. Kilpatrick told us that this morning, didn't he, Ansel? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Well, Ansel, did he? No. I think he did. <laughs> so it's not 50? No. It's 100. Well, like I say, however much. However much. What are you getting at? What do you mean? I made a mistake, all right? Yes, you did. So it's 50 or 100 or however much. Don't do this now. You said you never cared for Chris. I didn't. I don't. And you said Rex is an idiot. Uh-huh, he is. And you said the check is 400 Or however much! Well, I was just wondering. Look, what are you getting out of God? Whose dick is that? <laughs> Where did you get those? Well, that's not Andrew's dick, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> is that your dick? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure it is, honey. You were just drunk. <laughs> How about that one? No. <laughs> Sure now. <laughs> I've been drunk. So whose dick is that? <laughs> is 
that your little stepson's cock in your mouth? Now just stop it. Or does that particular dick belong to your boyfriend? Please. To your boyfriend, Rex, that idiot. Please, now just... The man who's getting all that money. I, I all did. All hundred grand. I said stop it. That's a nice photo there, really. You know, you should frame that. <laughs> what do you think? That looks nice on the bedroom dresser. I didn't know, I swear. Were you aware of this? I'm never aware. Whose is it? You son of a bitch! Now, now. There's no need for name calls. <laughs> I haven't called you any names. You'd be polite to me. I'm a guest. Now, oh. you tell me whose little dicky that is. And don't you lie to me. Or by God, it'll be the last lie you ever tell. Rex, it's Rex. Correct. Ansel, please. Oh, I don't think Ansel's too inclined to offer you any assistance. <laughs> Are you, Ansel? No. <laughs> In fact, you're content to just sit there, aren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let go of me, you motherfucker! Oh! What did I say about insulting me? Oh! What was that? Hmm? Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't go out here. Uh, Jack? Go back to bed, honey. Did you take out the trash? No. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> well, your eyes are just as black as night. All right, you just go back to sleep. All right, but I can't sleep with Mama in there. Oh. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I'll talk to Rex. We'll get you whatever you want. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh, no, it's not. Rex picked up the settlement this afternoon. What? Don't touch that television. <laughs> <laughs> he gave it to me before he left. A hundred grand. Jesus Christ. Well, where'd he go? Well, it's worthless, of course. It's made out to rest. Well, did he, did he say where he was going? Well, he was unavailable for comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But I don't understand. Why didn't you get him to sign it over? Oh! Oh! Looks like you need a new boyfriend. Oh! Oh! I'll be your boyfriend. Oh! Oh! Just for a little while. Stay down. Just stay down. Understanding regarding the insurance, I'm not going to receive any cash for my services. And that's unfair. I don't care to hear excuses or the placement of blame. I hold you all equally responsible. Reach around and grab my ass. I was fortunate, however, in thinking ahead. I secured a retainer for my services. Since I fulfilled my obligation, since my cash is not forthcoming, 
Well, that retainer is now mine. It belongs to me. And I'm taking it with me when I leave. You're very good at this. Please, moan. Chris doesn't agree with the concept of the retainer. He's coming back here tonight, and he's going to attempt to take it with him. I can't allow him to do that. This family can't allow him to do that. Do you understand? If this family allows Chris to leave this trailer, well, I'll slaughter all of you. Like pigs. Do you believe I do that? Now, I'm asking for your help. Will you give it to me? And? Yes, sir. Good. You know, you're a very beautiful woman. Don't you think so? I haven't given it much thought. <laughs> no. Wrong answer. Yes! She's a very beautiful woman. Oh. Well, isn't that sweet? Don't you think? Now, you get your ass in that kitchen, you set the table for a proper meal. And we'll all sit down and eat. Just the four of us. Just the family. How are you, guy? Where'd you get them photographs? Oh, that's hardly important. I guess. Look. All she did was suck his cock and try and steal your money. It would have been worse. How? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I suppose that's about as bad as it gets. <laughs> Spend time with your wife. Charlotte? Scare us up some music. Now this is love. Who would like to say grace? Dolly, would you do the honors? Yes.
Amen. That was beautiful. Thank you. Let's see. Charlie, we need some drinks, please. is you falling in love. So it's my privilege to tell you that I've asked her to be my bride. And she's accepted. Isn't that true, dear? Yes. Well, I for one really have. Shut up! A toast to my future wife. <coughs> well, when's all this supposed to happen? We're leaving after this delicious meal. Is that right? Yes. You can't have my sister, Chuck. What do you mean? I mean you can't have her. You're not going to marry my sister because you can't have her. Now, Chris, I don't think Shut that's Shut up! Right. Don't tell me to shut up! You said another word, old man. I'm going to take your head clean off your goddamn shoulders. Now, Chris, I can certainly appreciate your love for your sister. You gotta cut the old apron string something. Man, I'm not gonna discuss it. All right, she's my sister. All right, I'm taking her with me because we're leaving here. Well, maybe we should let Dottie decide. Dottie doesn't have a say in the matter. Well, I believe she does. Yeah, well, you will be wrong. Dottie, go get your stuff. Hey, see. Dottie, go get your stuff. Dottie, take your seat, Dottie. It's all right, baby. Go get your stuff. Take your seat. Dottie, go get your stuff. Dottie. Go on, Dottie. Stop. That a girl, just go get your stuff. Dottie! Go on now. Dottie! She's my retainer. retainer. The deal's off. No, it's not. Look, it didn't work out. All right, you're just going to have to eat this one. You know, you know I'll kill you. <laughs> Yo, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Sit down, Joe. Take your seat. Joe, sit down! <coughs> Go get your stuff, Donnie. <laughs> Kill him, Joe! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 